Good morning. My name is Tyler Burnett, and we're going to give the REDCap training for uh, data logging and using the logging tool in REDCap. Um, this goes ahead and starts with um, you have to have user rights to it. Uh, we did a user rights training session a few weeks ago. Uh, you can see it on the Biomedical Informatics Corps website at the top using data access group. Um, and basically that's, I'll, I'll show you real quick on how to get right to the logging uh, under the user rights menu. I'll click on myself and edit user privileges. And make sure the check box is checked for logging. Go ahead and save those changes. And jumping right into it, I'll go ahead and click the logging on the left hand side um, under applications and logging. And this is inside of your RedCap um, database. The first thing you're going to get pulled up to is the logging for all events that has happened inside of your project. And you can see that by the filter at the top. It shows all event types, including page page views, which we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, it's filtering by all users and all records. And it's showing all what, events 1 through 100. In this specific uh, database, there's 416 different events that have been logged in here. But currently, it's showing 1 through 100 for all state ranges since these two are blank. The default view, I'll just go ahead and show a few little things of, of it. Uh, at the bottom, you can see a table that shows the time and date of the log, uh, the username of who's doing what inside the project of the user that is logging the action, the action that they did, and a little bit of data for that. Uh, give a little bit specific about it. Uh, this top one is saying that I updated the user myself uh, to have rights, basically. Um, go a little bit farther down, you can see where survey respondent created a response to a specific form inside of your project. And this specific one will show you exactly what data they created inside the project and what responses they had. Um, a little bit farther down, it will show when you delete records. And when you delete a record, it will tell you what record ID that is for. In this case, it's number 18. Uh, it will show when you uh, modify survey information. Um, inside of a survey, you will go in and say um, really anything you can change in it. Um, you can delete project fields. It'll show when you delete project fields, you edit project fields, you reorder them, you create them, all that little information about it. It'll show when you export data on the specific fields that you export. It'll show you how it was exported in CSV, uh, all the data that was in it. I'll go at the top and show you a little bit of the filters that you can put so you don't see a big list of everything. So say you want to see all of the logs for data export. You click on filter the event by data export and you can do it for all users or you can drill down to specific users. Um, I'll go ahead and drill down to myself. Since I haven't done any data exports in this project, there is no log event for it. But if you go to a user that actually has events, it will show them to you. Go down to Manage and Design. This deals with the online designer where you see um, you reorder fields, you can edit fields, modify the information, um, delete fields out of it. 
Oh, little voice, can you hear me or no? Okay, great. My volume is all the way up on the phone. I'll talk a little louder if that's okay. So as I was saying, in the manage design, um, you can see all the records for uh, editing with the online designer. You filter it by username. Right now it's all users. And you can go to specific pages in there. So you can see the user and exactly what they are doing in there. You can also filter by a time range. So let's say we want to see everything from today, currently, until October. Oh, I have it backwards. October to today. So you can see all the fields. There's 44 records, record events for um, until last month on the 16th. Let's go down to user or role created, updated, and deleted. Okay. What this is saying, let me reset all these. All users. I'm just resetting it for all users and role created. So what this is saying is when somebody gives user rights to somebody else. As you can see, the username WooSD gave myself user rights to this project. Um, you can also see when uh, users were deleted, when they were created, and when they were updated in here. Record created, updated, or deleted is exactly as it sounds. This is when entries are added into the project, um, either from surveys or direct entry through the add edit record data collection. And this shows all the responses that were put in there. This is great for auditing purposes. Say you have multiple users screening individuals for a project, and you want to see who created record ID, say, let's say 12. It will show you that 12 was created through a survey, and it was updated last by this user and what they changed on it. Record created only is basically showing all only records that were created. So these are only the created new records that are added to the project. Record updated is exactly that. It's all the records that were updated in the project. And same thing, you can drill down on the specific user to see what they've done, or you can filter out by the record ID or the date range that you want to see. Record locking and e-signatures, uh, we don't have any in this project as we are not using them, but they will show up at the bottom as well. Page views is a little bit different um, logging tool. This shows you exactly um, who is looking at what page um, at a specific time. So this user access this page for this time. 
this is useful to see who is accessing what in the project and at what time they logged in and all like that. Okay, well, if there is no questions, uh, this concludes the end of the training for logging in RedCap. Thank you so much for watching.